Hey guys, we're going to be talking about the guns for the movie today. We started creating a couple of prototypes so you guys can look at them and see how they were made. We filled them up with buckshot and uh, we used auto body filler and stuff like that to make them extremely heavy and they're pretty rugged. You could probably kill somebody with them just by hitting them. They weigh like about four pounds. But they are definitely radical designs and that's what we're going after in this. The one gun that uh, Priscilla has that she draws out of a handbag, it's, it's built and designed to be extremely bulky so when she pulls it out she like pulls underwear out of her bag with it like a bra is stuck on it or something like that so it's just ridiculous. How can you take somebody serious when they pull a gun out like that and it's all tangled up in underwear? She pulls out this huge gun and it's of course since she's a really really rich girl it's the most expensive gun in the world and it does blah blah blah. So we thought what would be really cool on it is to give it these great big ears on top of it so that you could sight it in with both eyes open. And it actually works because we played around with it, you know, the designs. So it has a ramp on it that lights up as soon as you grab it and it actuates, you know, it knows that a person is holding it. It lights up with some type of, you know, uh, you know, a glow. And it creates a ramp, like a runway strip. And if you're pointing it down at the correct angle, this the little strip becomes all unison. It's one line. But if you arc it up or down, if you arc it down, then you can't see the strip at all. You're off your target. And if you arc it up too much, you see it as a dotted line. So it actually would work. And we, we played around with it. Like I said, it's pretty cool. So the other gun, the boot gun that the uh, that Sam draws, and she's kind of like a like a cop or a detective somewhere along that lines, with sort of a military background where she's very aggressive with a gun. She draws out what's like a belly gun or a boot gun. It's extremely concealable, very small, but has a huge impact. You know, if you guys follow the project, all the weapons are caseless ammunition, and we're even talking about having it a. a two-part gelatin tab that's inside there so they don't even require electricity to ignite the, uh, the, the caps like a blasting cap which is the, what we understand ammunition to be today. So anyway it would be two foreign chemicals that when they're exposed together they create the spontaneous combustion boom whatever. So the little boot gun that Sam has, the, the magazine is the barrels. So you load the gun from the front, you push it in and that one actually has a little electronic deal inside it that does something, I don't know what, but your trigger is basically just a dead short circuit. So this gun is, it's a gun that you could take through absolutely anything. You could run it over with a car, you could hit it with a hammer, and no matter what, as long as you could get the mag in the front and it had power, it would always operate because of its simplicity. So anyway, I think we're going really way out of our way to create all these interesting backstories for the movie, but we did say we were going to make this like a Star Wars trilogy. So we are putting a, a you know a, a tremendous amount of work into it. Uh, Night Vision, who's a really nice guy, he has been uh, he's got all this really cool equipment at home, and he's been wanting to do some reading, like a you know like a like a broadcast kind of thing or something. I don't know. It's kind of a hobby of his or a dream or something. I don't know. You know, we haven't really talked about it yet. But anyway, he's uh, starting to read bits of the story. So if you guys like it, we're going to start doing a bit more of that. So that's where we're at right now. I just shot a couple of clips so you can see the girls you know playing with the guns, but it's you know, nothing in great detail. And like I say, these are all just kind of, I would say concepts, prototypes, their ideas that were thrown around. So let's talk about it today. Should we proceed forward with this or should we not put, put any more, you know, uh, care into it? We'll make the guns flat black and that's it. The girls pull out the guns and they shoot them and that's the end. So let's talk about it. Should we have elaborate guns or should we just have them flat black guns? They pull them out, boom, that's it. All right, see you guys.